Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. Uh, I have a Cremant de Limoux in front of me. Uh, Calmel et Joseph, Cremant de Limoux. I think it's a non-vintage. I can't see a, um, a vintage on there. And I'm trying to remember the blend. I know it's got Chardonnay, uh, Pinot Noir and Chenin Blanc in there, but I can't for the life of me remember the uh, uh, the proportions. So they'll be somewhere where you can find out what they are. Anyway, uh, let's just give it a whirl. It smells young and fresh. Um, a little bit of um, maybe bruised, baked green apples. Um, doesn't smell, I'm not sure uh, how long it's, ha it's had on Lee's. Uh, I, I, th I think I've read somewhere about 15 months, so which is the, uh, what they do uh, with uh, uh, the minimum for champagne. Um, but um, we're further south for, from champagne here, and uh, but similar soils. And um, but I have to say that I wouldn't have said this was a champagne. There's something almost slightly um, seltzer like a slight saline uh, mineral character, which um, smells uh, interesting. I can't say it smells appealing. I, I would say interesting. It, the, 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 almost like this slightly um, yeah salty, slight aspirin ca character. Anyway, I better taste it. Slightly bruised, burnt, stroke baked apple character. Um, like when you get bits of uh, apple pie and they've uh, fused to the side of your uh, enamel dish. Um, and uh, there's this, uh, I don't know, it's a Chenin Blanc, Blanc that's giving this character at the back. Um, uh, yeah, that slight apple-y nuttiness. Um, it's good, it's fresh, and it's lively, and it's um, a friendly price. It, what's it? Blah, 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 uh, between, well, it's, it's uh, 15 pounds-ish. Um, and um, can't fault it for that. It's just, it's, but it's good rather than great. Hey, see you soon.